You see my dog here? He's sick and tired of your bullshit. And I'll tell you why. So, I think we are all collected here in our current situation. Um, when we all agree that um, no one actually has any fucking idea what is happening at Barcelona. Genuinely, I don't know what is happening here. Do you know what's happening here? Because I feel like no one actually knows. Even Barca fans that's trying to make it out like they know what's going on to, to make themselves feel better about themselves. They don't actually fucking know either. So, basically, the other day, there was a ton of you know, reports saying that they cannot register anyone. They've signed Lewandowski. They've signed Rafinha. They've signed all these players and all these new contracts. But they can't actually play them in La Liga. So what's the point? Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of... You're saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to usfbuy.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. Now, they're saying that they've got to sell De Jong to register the players. But even I think that's not even enough just himself. I don't actually get what's happening here. And we can read through this article here by the mirror and i'm sure there's many other types of um, publications as far as we're already aware that barcelona sold i think 25 percent of their tv rights uh, and trying to recuperate uh, like money i've tried to like eco out the um, the money income to uh, like lever out how much they actually have to register their players and even that's not enough to do anything. Like, genuinely, how they even been allowed to even allow these players in in the first place? I don't even think by selling De Jong that would even cover the players at all. I mean, they're selling their entire club. They're even having weddings. Like, look at this. Barcelona weddings. My wedding was last week. I could have I could have had it at New Camp. On the Barcelona website, host a private event. And you can just go and have a wedding in uh, Barcelona. Yeah, the Camp Nou will open its doors and make sure of a magical day. What is going on here, man? Like, I don't think people actually understand how f***ed they actually are. In terms of, I've never seen a club deep in debt in my entire life. It, this isn't normal. This should be, a, this, uh, you should be having weddings at the centre of Camp Nou, surely. Just try to understand the article here. So, Barcelona are told they must sell Frankie D. They've been told that they cannot register any of their new signings until they reduce their financial outgoings. They've been handed a 10-day deadline for any potential transfer for De Jong, with both United and Chelsea pursuing a deal. Even, he, this is a thing as well that I don't understand. I've seen this as well from a lot of, like, my new fans. My new fans say that, nah, oh, they want De Jong, they want De Jong. Why do you want De Jong? Like, yeah, sure, he's a good footballer and he will improve your team. And you may say, yeah, well, that's the reason. But I thought the entire problem with United for the last decade now has been for having players that isn't fully committed to the club, that won't always have a speculation outgoing of at the end of, well, at the start of every new window. It's, so, which team would this, would, would, Pogba go to next, all this speculation to kind of like not make the club feel as stable. So you want De Jong because he's good. Yes, I get that. But he doesn't want to be at your football club. He cannot make it any more clearer that he doesn't want to be a football club. And I think most Man U fans now understand that. I think they now understand that like, okay, maybe like at this stage, just don't bother because he clearly doesn't want to be part of your football club. And I don't think he even wants to be part of Chelsea either. I don't think it's just a Man U thing. I think it's just more of a he doesn't want to leave Barcelona, period, because that is his football club that he always has wanted to play for. So why would he want to leave? So De Jong's just being completely fucked over. And we already know the, the amount of wages and the, the debt that they still owe De Jong as well. So, like, it's so complicated, genuinely. But the thing is, knowing La Liga, they'll still find out a way. They'll still find out a way to make this work. Because it's La Liga. And La Liga is nothing without Barcelona and Real Madrid. They will do whatever they have to do. We already saw this with Real Madrid, with the entire Kylian Mbappe situation. That we saw that... Why would a league that has no involvement with Real Madrid or PSG... Why would they pop up... And stop 
calling out PSG for the transfer business. It's got nothing to do with La Liga. In the same way, let's look at a comparison. Let's say if it was Manchester City that wanted to kill Mbappe and the same thing happened, it's like the Premier League making a statement calling out for, to look at the financial legalities at PSG. That would look stupid and everyone would say that the Premier League is... Um, corrupt and that it's biased to Man City and they want Man City to, to succeed. We already know that La Liga is a fraudulent league in terms of they only care about you know the, the big three or really just the big two and everyone else, the Valencias, the Sevillas, all these boys, they couldn't give any less of a sh about them. So we, we already know that La Liga in itself doesn't care less, so what's going to happen is that they're still going to find out a way to make this work. Now Barcelona, as we've already made aware, They've took some drastic steps, as they've said here, to, um, to raise some funds. So they've opted to sell 25% of its TV rights to Sip Street. Now, still not enough. So they sold a 25% stake in Barca Studio to Sorcius.com, 400 million euro. A combined selling of the club's assets raised 767 million euro for the club, and they hope to register them for the brand new arrivals. Porta is already preparing the sale of another 24.5% of Barca Studios in what will inject much needed funds in the presence which but will ensure the club's long-term revenue streams take another hit. With critics claiming that these measures only kick the situation further down the road, which is probably not incorrect when you say that. Barcelona needs to sell players too. The balance sheet needs to show both transfer income and, crucially, a significant reduction in the wage bill. De Jong is now increasingly crucial in the scenario as he is the club's highest earner, yet is unlikely to be a first-team regular next season. Better Depay, Braithwaite, Pjanic, MTT are among the other priority departures. Although it is unlikely that any of those players will generate a transfer fee and none are on significant wages. It's just fucked. Like, it's just so fucked, man. I mean, this is the same club, right? Which spent how much money on Coutinho? How much money on De Jong? How much money? Like, when I saw them making all these signings for, like, Lewandowski and all these players, I just laughed because it genuinely... It's like they learned nothing. It's like they learned nothing. Like, they put, they bought so much players and so much high wage bills to put themselves in shit. So then once they need to get out of shit, they then bought more big name players on big wage bills. Like, I'm pretty sure Lewandowski is not on, like, you know, 100 grand a week. Yeah, and even that's a lot, but even for, like, Boston, maybe that's a bit of a small amount. But I guarantee he's on, like, easy, like, what, Lewandowski is, like, what, 250 grand a week or euro a week? You know, like, it's not like they're on small wages. Like, what Barcelona should have really done is sell all of their main assets and almost a start afresh and really just plan on the youth. So they got the Ansu Fati, they got the, the Gavis, they got the Pedris, and just focus on them. And because they're quite young, they wouldn't desperately need and be asking for a, high, for a high wage bill. Focus on the young players and work their way up with them. Not sign your Lewandowski and Kessie and all these guys that will demand a high wage bill. I mean, I don't know if Kessie would demand a high wage bill, but even still, it's absolutely ridiculous that they seem to be learning absolutely nothing and is just burying themselves even further. Now, I am not a, a financial expert, but to be fair, I don't think you are either. And most of us are looking at this thinking, it's f***ing stupid. Much have been made of the fact that Barcelona and other clubs are even allowed to sign at all. It has often been claimed that they have been permitted to just keep on spending, repeating the errors of the past, loading up further debt. The accusation stands that they have been indulged or escaped punishment for their financial misjudgment, carrying on regardless and never forced to face the consequences. If they may be something in the former, the latter really isn't true. However, quickly people seem to forget there are two words that underline that. <laughs> Lionel and Messi, Christ, man. I mean... I know Messi was a lot of money for them, but they kind of had to, didn't they? I do feel like in 10 days, Barcelona will be able to register their players. Somehow. There'll be a way. There'll be a way. There'll be a way, but I guarantee it is a quick fix for the here and now, and that it will not fix anything towards the future for Barcelona. Like, if they are able to make it out of this cool situation, for the time being, I think it's just going to be can just literally just leaving it. You know, like when you say, like, you want to go on a diet? Like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow, though. I'll start tomorrow. I'll start next week. I'm going to enjoy my, my, my Mackies now, but I'll start next week. By the time you start your diet, then you're like, nah, but I can't be arsed right now. I'm not, I'm not feeling good. I'll start next week. 
and just delaying it and delaying it and delaying it. As what I say, I think Barca in this situation, they should have sold all their players, all their highest wages, not brought anyone in of any real massive wages, and just focus on the youth for the next how many years that it would be necessary. Because I don't think the youth, the Gavis, the Pedris, I don't think they'll be desperately wanting to get a massive amount of money. You know what I mean? So I feel like that would have been an obvious shout. But instead, they're going for these big high wages and earners yet again. And eventually, effectively learning nothing. Guaranteed to be boss on the fans in here that'll be having to go on me. And like, you don't know this, you don't know that. Uh, you're a Burnley fan, what do you know? Blah, blah, blah. I don't think you know sh either. I'm sorry, you're going to listen to whatever that you will also believe in the same way that we will also listen to what we will believe. It's like an echo chamber, right? If you're a Barca fan, you want to ignore all the negativity and just focus on this one article, this one tweet that's like, oh, see, it is fine. See, this guy did, you know what I mean? It, it's, gonna, it, it's just, it's nonsense. Right now, Barcelona, they're not doing things the right way. And let's see how they somehow get out of it for the time being. And let's see if we go for this entire si situation yet again in another year's time. Because I think nothing will change. And um, it's going to be interesting to see if the young actually goes. Because I, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. This is going to be interesting, man. So, yeah, tell me your thoughts. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe.